So you're telling me that you're really happy because you've got your brand new set of 1973 Bounce Soul Hogan Apex 4, and you're just, you're happy about yourself, aren't you? I'm, I'm very happy. Happy that, uh... And you've been dying to tell me about this piece you want to... Well, the next, the, the next chapter for the dirt, for the book. Secret in the dirt you're talking about. Yeah. Trying to keep you on the branding. <laughs> the uh, the next thing is is like uh, well something we talked about uh, a long long time ago, and it's the notion of the change of direction. It's really cold. Figuring out. How, how far to take it back? What's far enough? What's too far? And I think that uh, there might be something that we can figure out almost based on, I, I sort of call it, you know, they talk about there's a point of uh, There's a point at which taking it any further back you get diminishing returns. It doesn't go. There's a, there's a point that once you've gone too far, it does you no good. Right. And you lose, you'll lose your, any tension you built that you're going to tap into on the backswing, you lose. How and do you know, how do you know where that point is? Well. <laughs> what have you found out? Well, my, my take is that I want to move my left hand as far away from the golf ball as I can. That's my max. And by that, I mean, if you put a string, say this was on a tee, and you put a string on there, and I went to there, that That's, would be... So you're saying if it went more here, it'd be closer? Yeah, the string would develop would start, slack if, now. If, if this got so the string... And this would say 50 inches. Right. You're saying if you went any further, it'd go back to 49 inches, 48, 48. 47. Because I'm now getting closer to the ball. Now what that'll mean is I now have to put the hands back there to 50 to get to my most powerful position. So you say just go to the most powerful position and no further. Exactly. And the, and the thing is that, that what I'm talking about is people wonder about guys that are sneaky long. You see the guy that looks like he's doing nothing and whoo! Well the thing is he's taking it back to a place that going beyond which he gets no more out of it. So he's just and How do you fishing. know where that, that place is for you or for, for me? Well. You look at it with your, with your, you go, okay, that's about as far away from the ball as I can get, and then this is going to be closer. Is that how you do it? That's pretty much it. I mean, I, I, I wish I had a complicated answer for you that's some no, scientific like, thing. We want but, the but, simple answer. But that, the simple answer is, I can see right now that, well, and... For someone for me being taller, right. my, my point, my, my spot might be, I might be right up here. You might be because you're going to be on a different plane because your height, because of everything else. Right. But you're, you're, you're not yeah. going to be. No, that'd be too close then. Right. right. So, so the. Uh, so Which is pretty much what you see with a lot of true plays. Anyway, you don't see a lot of this. Is what you, you don't. They've already got their swing grooved to where they know where the top of this swing is. Well, they know. Yeah, they know. There's a spot that they go past. It's no good. That, that, that all of a sudden the wheels are, are falling off. But the, yeah, the only. What about a guy like John Daly who goes all the way dipsy do? Well, he, he keeps turning his shoulders. Well, and that's fine, but my contention would be... You're saying it, when the shoulders stop, basically. Well, but, but my contention with John Daly is, John Daly is strong and athletic and talented. Flexible. Flexible, all those things. And I believe that if he took the club back to there, he would hit it the same distance. He might not be able to time it for him. Correct. That's true. But... Because he needs that sort of that gathering. Right. Whatever he, but I don't think he's gaining. Gaining. I don't yeah. think he's gaining. He doesn't start well, he could gaining because anyone he else gets... that takes it that far back doesn't hit it like John Daly. No. So I think that that's. I don't. I honestly think that the, that the speed that he's creating and everything else. I mean, it has to do with the width that he's swinging on and everything else more than this. You know, yeah. going way past. And the thing is, so it's it's. I mean, at the bottom. It's, it's all about speed, and the, the, the farther you can accelerate it through, the, the faster you can make it move. But you're not actually... This all is, that. That's, that's, that's not, that's not, not, con that's not contributing much to down here. Not, if to relevant, con not if, relevant. If anything. Right? And in fact, I think 
it's it's in most cases it's subtracting the uh, you might want to try of like not speaking while you're hitting you know might, might be better. <laughs> you know you've never had a problem with me before maybe you just okay that was a nice adjustment but um, the, uh, and the other thing is too, remember there's one other thing we, when we talked about and... Uh, uh, Should we take it from this angle a couple of them, Terry, to get the feel of it from behind where he gets his... I don't even think we need to. I think people will know what this is. And the other thing is too, remember when we talked about, maybe I should mention this when we're talking about finding the most powerful position. I'll turn this way. This, this, then you don't have to move. Remember I said when you're taking the club back, you... you you want to know your what your maximum width is, you know, how your you want width in your in your swing. You want to uh, have that, but there's a point where you're getting too much of that. Same right. way as you're getting this, and you feel all that through your left thumb. And uh, you don't have to if you've got pressure on here, and it doesn't have to be tons, but you have to be aware of this. If you can feel the club with your with your left thumb. You'll lose it if you're if you're going too wide. If you're swinging it out there, if you're sucking it in, you're going to just go where it's balanced. Exactly. You keep it don't balanced. Go, don't go overbalanced. Exactly. So you feel your width. That's as good as that I can do. That was a good do. one to end on. That's as good as I can do.